Can you see my screen? Yes. So look at this question. You have question number five, which is solve two x minus three by y is equal to nine. Three x plus seven by y is equal to two. Hence, find the value of k if x is equal to ky plus five, which means you need to find the value of x and y, and you have to substitute in this equation to obtain the value of k. It's very simple. The first equation is two x minus three by y is equal to nine. The next equation is three x plus seven by y is equal to two. Okay, this is also same process, Arun. You don't have to think much. You do have two different coefficients, so just multiply the equation one by three, multiply the equation two by two. What happened? You will have three two sir six six, three three sir nine upon. Oh, why I I didn't understand. I didn't understand. So what we were doing before? What we were doing before? You will just check whether do you have same coefficient or not. If you don't have same coefficient, you will make the coefficient equal, and you will cancel out one variable, isn't it? You have two in front of x in the first equation, and you have three as the coefficient in the second equation. So, in order to make same coefficient, I'm multiplying the first okay. equation by three, so that I'll get six x in the first equation. I'm multiplying yes. the second equation by two, so that I'll have six x in the coefficient. Understood? So, you will have six x. If you perform something in the left hand side, you have to perform it on the right hand side too. So you will have nine upon y is equal to twenty seven. The equation two is going to be six x plus fourteen upon y is equal to four. Can you follow? Yes. Yes. Don't yes, uh, don't be worried about this fraction. Okay, this is pretty easy. You you are going to get that. I'll tell you how. So you do have same sign. So what do we do? You just have to perform subtraction. Yeah. So you will cancel out six x and six x. Now you are left with negative nine by y, negative fourteen by y is equal to twenty three. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. So now we have to simplify this negative nine by y and negative four by y. Okay, since the denominator of both the fractions are same, you can keep the denominator as y. You can add negative nine and negative four. It's just a basic addition between two fractions. Okay, because you have the same denominator in the fraction. If you have two different denominator, you will do LCM, isn't it? If you have same denominator, and y equals to one. Where? Uh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Oh, you are telling me the answer is y is equal to one. Yes, yes, exactly. The answer is one. Yeah. So minus nine minus four is minus twenty three upon y is equal to twenty three. Yes. So you just yes, swap their position. It becomes minus twenty three upon twenty three is equal to y. So twenty three and twenty three will cancel out each other. You will be having y is negative one. Understood? Yes. So now you substitute the value of y in one of the equation. If you please note it down. What happens? You have two x minus three by y. What is the value of y? Y is minus one. Is equal to nine. Minus three by minus one, it becomes plus three simply. So you will have two x plus three is equal to nine. Two x is equal to nine minus three, which is six. So x is equal to six by two, which is three. The value of x is three. Understood? Yes. yes. so if you have a single fraction in your question you have to solve it in the old method like you have to solve it like any other question how do you solve elimination method substitution method okay if you have two fraction 
like 2 by x and 3 by y, then you will make the assumption. You will assume 1 by x is a, 3 by y is b. Understood? Yes. Please note it down and tell me. We'll revise uh, the answers one more time. Are you done? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's solve. Uh, let's just revise the elimination method and cross multiplication method one more time. Okay. Okay. In the exercise 5.1, you have solve this following system of simultaneous linear equation by the substitution method. So this is substitution method. Substitution method is also kind of easy. So x plus y is equal to 14. That is the equation 1. The equation 2 is x minus y is equal to 4. In substitution method, what do you do? You have to keep one variable on the left hand side and push the rest of the thing on the right hand side. Remember that. Okay. Keep one variable on the left hand side and push the rest of the thing in the right hand side okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to pick the equation two you can of course pick up any equation it's totally up to you it is not compulsory that you have to make changes in the second equation only okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to keep x and i'll just move this y to the right hand side it becomes four plus y because here it was negative when i move that to the right hand side it becomes positive so I do have x is equal to 4 plus y. Understood, Aaron? Okay. So look at the question. By The question itself giving you hint that you have to make substitution. Okay. So now what you have to do, you have to substitute this expression in one of the equation. Okay. Let's substitute x is equal to 4 plus y in equation 1. What will happen? x will turn into 4 plus y and you already have another y and 14 in the equation. You just copy that as it is. Okay. We made the substitution. Yes. We are done with the substitution. We are just going to simplify it. You know how to do it. It's 4. y plus y will give you 2y is equal to 14. So 2y is equal to 14 minus 4. And 2y is equal to 10. So y is equal to 10 upon 2, which will give you the result as 5. Yes, 
you found the value of y yes. now you substitute the value of y here you are making double substitution okay once you substituted the x in terms of y at last you are substituting the value of y in the x equation so that you will get the value of x it's 4 plus 5 which will give you 9 the value of x is 9 can you follow yes, yes. yeah so this is substitution method are okay we'll solve a okay. question from elimination method just elimination I think I have scrolled so much. Yeah. So in the next next exercise, you do have a question with elimination method. Same question, but elimination method. So I'll tell you how to solve it. So the question is 3x plus 4y is equal to 10. Okay, maybe we'll solve the second question. We have already done. So it's 2x is equal to 5y plus 4. 3x minus 2y plus 16 is equal to 0. So let's uh, alter this. So you can alter the first equation into 2x minus 5y equal to 4. Can I do that? Yes. And in the second equation, I can write it like this. 3x minus 2y is equal to negative 16. Yes. Yes. I just altered it. I have kept the two variable in the left hand side and I have pushed the constant on the right hand side. Okay. Um, okay. Now you just check whether you do have same coefficients for x and y. Okay. If you check over here for x, you do have two different coefficients. They are 2 and 3. And if you check for y, you do have two different coefficients. One is 5 and another one is 2. So now you have to make the coefficients equal. How can you make equal? I have told you this already without going for the second part. Just multiply the equation 1 by 3 and multiply the equation 2 by 2. So that you will get the same yes. way. So equation 1 becomes 6x. 3 times of 5y will give you uh, 15y. 3 times of 4 will give you 12. So this is your new first equation. The second equation becomes 6x minus 4y is equal to minus 32. Yes. So now you check where do you have same coefficients here. What do you have to check now? Check whether they do have same sign or different sign. If they do have same sign, you will perform addition. If they do have different sign, you will perform subtraction. Isn't it? So they do have same sign, you will perform subtraction. You put minus here. This has already plus you will put, I mean minus it, you will put plus here. And here also it has already minus, so minus of minus also becomes plus. Do you understand? Okay. We are just doing yes. subtraction. So 6x and negative 6x cancel out each other. 15y plus 4y. Negative 15y plus 4y. I'm doing it uh, in this side. Which will give you negative 9y. So you will have negative 9y here. 12 and 32 will become 44. We will have y is equal to 44 upon 9. Yes. Yes. 44 upon 9, you have minus sign as well. Yes. Just put the minus sign here. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are right. So now you substitute this value of y in one of the equation. You know how to do it and find the value of x. I, I hope I don't have to explain that again. Method, which is cross multiplication method. Mm. Okay. 
to this one, the second subdivision, 3x minus 7y plus 10 is equal to 0. y minus 2x equal to 3. I've told you this already. The very first step is to make the equation equal to 0. The first equation is already in the form, so you don't have to make any changes. Look at the second equation. The second equation has y minus 2x equal to 3. You can alter this like this. Minus 2x plus y minus 3 equal to 0. Can you follow? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So this is my equation 2 now. This is my equation 1. So if you notice, if you check for x, if you check for x, I don't have same coefficient. If you check y, I don't have same coefficients. Okay, okay. No, no. We are doing cross multiplication. I'm sorry. You don't have to do that at all. So you just have to write it like this. There are coefficients. You have 3, negative 2, negative 7, 1, 10, negative 3. Again, you will write the first one, 3, negative 2. Uh, just a second. Just a second. I'll teach you an easy method rather than this. Yes, sir. You do it like this. Like first you write the coefficient 3, negative 2. And then you write the coefficient of y, negative 7, 1. And then you write the constant 10 and negative 3. Okay. So we are done copying. Now what do you do? Again, you make the repetition. You copy these two sets. Again, you copy the value of x and y. So coefficients x, x and y, you again make the copy. Okay. This way will work. This is better, much better than the uh, previous one. Do you follow this? Can you follow yes, this? What I've done. So now what do you do? You just erase the very first one. After writing it down, just erase the very first one. Okay? Okay. Now we can proceed with the cross multiplication. I'll tell you how. After erasing the first one, you put x here. Okay? Do the cross multiplication. You know how to do it. You just have to multiply the head and tail of the aroma. And here mm -hmm. also you will do the same. What do you do? 1 and 10. When you multiply, when the aroma goes upward, you will include minus with that. Minus. So half the equation like this. It's x upon negative 7 into negative 3 will give you 21. And you will incorporate minus with that. 1 into 10 will give you 10. Yes. So we are done with the x. Yes. Okay. So once you're done with the x, to avoid confusion, you just erase it. You just do the process in the pencil also side by side. Okay, just erase the previous one. And you take the last one, continue with the next one. So now you it goes like chain, isn't it? So now you multiply 10 and 2, multiply 3 and 3. So you will have y upon 10, 2, sir, 20, negative 20. And you will include another minus. Minus 3 into 3 will give you minus 9. So minus of minus 9 will be plus 9. Okay. So what do you do? Again, yes. Erase this. You continue the last one and this. You just have to put one at the top and you multiply this and this. It's going to be three. You multiply this and this. It's going to be, you will include minus with that. Minus two into minus one will be 14. So you'll have it like this. So it's x upon 21 minus 10 is uh, 11. y upon minus 20 plus 9 will give you minus 11 equal to 1 upon. Minus 11. Nice. So you're having almost 11 in all the answers. So now how you will solve yes. this? You just have to equate the constant and the variable, isn't it? So just equate them. What happens? X by 11 is equal to 1 by minus 11. So 11 and 11 will get cancelled out each other. X is equal to 1 by minus 1. So X is equal to minus 1. So Y by minus 11 equal to 1 by minus 11. 11, 11 will cancel out each other. You will have y is equal to plus 1. That's it. We are done. We found the value of x and y. This is how you will solve the cross multiplication. Understood? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes sir. That's all from me. You just revise whatever we have discussed so far. You don't have to learn anything new. And we don't have class in the evening also today. Just sit and revise what and all we have learned so far. Okay. Okay. Okay, dear. All the very best for your exam. Don't panic, okay? Yes. Just give your best. You don't have to get stressed. 
be smart you don't have don't waste your energy you have spent lot of energy on learning this math just revise it effectively okay you don't you're not going to prove it to anybody yes by showing your marks you are already dedicated enough okay just revise what and all you have learnt already if you find the same question in the exam you give your best if you see some surprise question you just try to attempt that okay if you know okay. the answer very well make sure you didn't make any sign mistakes okay yes only this thing you keep in your mind and you revise that's it that's all i have yes all the best. thank you bye bye dear